guys, I am Pixel Dan, and today we're going to be checking out the Masters of the Universe Origins, Sun Man, the greatest hero of them all. <laughs> this is the retail version of Sun Man. I've already taken a look at the Mattel Creations exclusive version, so if you haven't already, make sure you check that video out as well. That way you can see the difference between the two versions. But this is the one that is starting to hit retail stores right now, and we are going to check him out. As you can see, he comes on that standard blister card packaging with the classic Masters of the Universe logo and the red rocks behind him. But Sunman gets a very special blister bubble to fit in his unique armor in the package. Check that out. It almost sticks off the side of the blister bubble. It's like the perfect size the way it fits in there. And here's a nice little touch. They actually added a sticker to the bubble with the original Rulers of the Sun Sunman logo from the vintage Olmec Toys toy line. I thought that was pretty cool. The back of the packaging features some beautiful brand new artwork on the back with He-Man teaming up with Sunman to fight off Skeletor and Pighead in front of Castle Grayskull. Again, absolutely gorgeous box art up there. I love it. And down below that, we've got a cross-sell showing the other figures in this particular wave. And you can see we've got a nice little action feature call-out. Um, the Phoenix Wings. I didn't realize that's what it was called. So, but I love how it shows you how you can put on the Phoenix Wings on his armor and fitting his unique sword, spear, and shield into his hands. So, let's go ahead and get the retail version of Sun Man opened up and we will get a closer look at him. All right, so we've got our Sun Man outside of the packaging. Of course, just like all of the other figures in the Origins line, he does come packaged with a brand new mini comic. Now, this is the same mini comic that comes with the other figures in this wave, including Clawful, Anti Eternia He Man, and the Horde Troopers, but it does star Sun Man in the story, so pretty cool stuff. You also get the little breakdown that shows you all of the removable parts, uh, because one of the features in Origins, of course, is the ability to do some part swapping. Now, I want to give you guys a warning that this particular video is mostly going to be a comparison video because I've already taken a look at the Mattel Creations exclusive version of this figure. Uh, so if you have not already seen that, I would definitely urge you to check that video out as well. And if you're here just because you're watching these videos and you're somebody who's wondering who this guy even is, I also did a retrospective on Sun Man and the Rulers of the Sun that explains the origins of this character where I even interviewed the creator. So I would urge you guys to check that out as well if you have the time to do so. This retail version of Sun Man is basically the same figure that we also got from MattelCreations.com with the biggest difference being that none of this is shiny. <laughs> The Mattel Creations version was vac metalized in the armor, so it had a really nice shine to it there, but also it was painted with metallic paint on the arms and the boots there, so he really, really stood out. The figure otherwise is the same figure. Um, so if this is your first time seeing it, it's worth noting that there's a lot of new parts going on here. While the base body is very similar to He-Man and all the other human-like characters in this line, we do have newly sculpted arm bracers here. We've got a newly sculpted pelvis loincloth there, uh, new boots, new armor, so all of those pieces are brand new. The armor is also interesting in the way that you can see that the little feathers or the wings, the phoenix wings, are a separate piece from the armor itself and they function just like that on the vintage Sunman action figure where they clip on the front of the neck. Now since Origins has removable heads, that actually makes it a lot easier because you can pop the head off, put that on the neck, and the head basically holds them in place, but you can see they can still kind of move around a little bit, which is going to be good for posing and such as well. Now the armor that he's wearing sits over the body. So you can pull it off over the shoulders there. So it's a little different than a lot of the armor because a lot of times they either have the clasps on the side or they have the straps. This just sits over the body and it is worth noting that it is made of a much more rigid plastic, kind of akin to a lot of the clamshell armors on the vintage toy line. A lot of the armors in Origins have made of a very soft and pliable plastic. So it's really interesting that Sunman's is not. It's actually the harder armor, which honestly is what I prefer. I like that quite a bit more. 
Uh, otherwise, articulation is exactly what you would expect out of an Origins figure, with the arms going outwards, forwards, backwards, swivel at the elbows, bends at the elbows, swivel at the wrist, hinge joint at the wrist, swivel at the waist, legs go outwards, forwards, backwards, you got the swivel at the knee, the bend at the knee, the swivel at the boot, and then the ankles can go up and down, rock side to side, plus, as I mentioned earlier on, you've got all those swappable parts, just like we've seen with Origins all the way through, so the arms, the waist, the head, all of that stuff can pop out. All in all, this guy is bright and colorful. He looks pretty good. I do have a few scuffs on mine, which is unfortunate. Like you can see, I got some marks on his thigh over here. I don't know if that's coming through. Um, but, and otherwise he does look pretty clean for the most part. I do love the bright colors on him um, and think he looks pretty good. Now he's not as shiny as that uh, exclusive version, but still a very nice looking figure. And this one of course is much more close to what the vintage action figure looked like. He comes with two accessories. He's got his sword spear thing, very unique weapon. And of course he's got his shield as well. Uh, these also are slightly different because uh, while this is still made of a nice rigid plastic, it doesn't have the same gloss to it or the metallic paint deco that the Mattel Creations version did. And same goes for the shield. You can see it's a much more flat paint deco this time, so it doesn't have that shine to it. But it still functions the same way. You got the handle on the inside, the clip that goes on the forearm, uh, and of course, the gr both gripping hands can hold on to the sword thing if you want to do that. Now, the exclusive version came with uh, an extra head, extra hands, and like a blast effect for the sword, and none of those are included with the retail release. All right, guys, it's comparison time. I keep talking about the exclusive version. So real quick, we'll get some side-by-sides so you can see the difference between the looks of these two figures. Of course, it's the metallics that make the Mattel Creations one stand out alongside the retail release. And of course, we've got to stand this guy alongside the vintage Sunman action figure from Olmec Toys so you can see how Mattel did a pretty good job of staying true to the original design. And there you go, my friends. That is a look at the brand new Masters of the Universe Origins Sunman. All in all, I do like this guy. I think it's really fun. Uh, as somebody who's been collecting in the 5.5 inch action figure space for a long time. I've always been intrigued by the other lines aside from Masters of the Universe, the Remco's, the stuff from Olmec Toys. Uh, they're all fascinating to me. And I think it's pretty cool to see something that basically lived in obscurity kind of being brought back to life. Uh, and we're getting brand new figures of these. That is not something I ever would have thought I'd see. I'm excited for the other characters, for the Rulers of the Sun line. I know that um, it's, it's obscure. Like I said, I think there's a lot of people out there who just don't know who these guys are or why they're being included in the line. Um, but I don't know for somebody like me who's been buying these for years and years and years, I think it's awesome. And uh, I'm excited to get something new. Don't get me wrong. I love the usual suspects. Uh, you know, I know everybody's looking for Mecha Neck, but I love it when we get new things for Masters of the Universe. Also, you know, I've been collecting these figures for so long and we get the same characters over and over and over again, year after year in different formats. So getting something new is pretty cool to me. So this guy is hitting retail stores right now. Uh, mine actually came from Target's website. Shockingly, they didn't cancel my pre-order, uh, but he should also be hitting store shelves very soon. So happy hunting, my friends, and until next time.